Hi, every, hi everyone. I, I think we know everyone here today, but just in case, my name is Elizabeth and this is my brother Jimmy. We are blessed to have Jim Long as our dad. We want to thank everyone for being here today and Robin, Stuart, Pam, and everyone involved for, for putting together this special gathering in honor of our dad. As preacher's kids, we have become accustomed to having people come up to my sister and me and tell us how wonderful our dad is. <laughs> Everyone knows our dad is a beloved and lovely person, but we are here today to reveal the monster behind the <laughs> A man so monstrous, he once drove over my bike when I left it in the middle of the driveway. <laughs> A man so monstrous and poor with time management, he never once picked us up on time. <laughs> a man so monstrous, he took me out as pitcher in a softball game and put me in the outfield. <laughs> and we could go on and on about his disorganization and how hard it is to buy him a gift because he already purchased every book ever written. <laughs> but honestly, behind the scenes, he is just as wonderful of a man as everyone has gotten to know over the years. As many of you know, as many of you know, our dad left practicing law and went to the seminary when he turned 40 years old. At the time, my brother and I were under 10 years old, and we never completely understood why our dad didn't have a normal midlife crisis. <laughs> we often joke that our dad's brother bought a convertible when he had a midlife crisis, and we got a minister. <laughs> but as we've gotten older, we have become so appreciative of the sacrifices he and our mom had to make and of the support he received from the community. We are especially appreciative to Dr. Wing who hired our dad. This allowed him to stay at the church, his parents, himself, my brother and I grew up in, and for us to continue to stay in the same house, school, and community as kids. Also, uh, we especially want to thank our mother who really made all of this possible. Our dad often gets credit for being selfless, and he is but our mother allowed her husband at the age of 40 with two children under the age of 10 to quit his job, go back to school, and take a pay cut to pursue his true calling. <laughs> this is one of the most selfless acts of all. And trust me, Elizabeth was an expensive kid. <laughs> My travel soccer did not pay for itself, and we had to replace that bike he ran over. <laughs> we also want to recognize our grandmother, our mom's mother, who was the only grandparent we knew and lived to be 95 and passed away in 2012. She was really our dad's biggest fan, even though she always said she was a better mother-in-law for our lawyer than a minister. <laughs> she never misses sermons of our dad's, and this included all the 8.30 a.m. sermons he gave. However, he did put, however, she did put less money in the offering plate if everyone had to shake hands during the service, <laughs> and she left to get grits at Bob Evans before the communion hymn started. <laughs> and additionally, we are uh, especially thankful to everyone in this room and all the colleagues and staff our dad has worked with at First Community Church of past and present over the last 25 years. The support from everyone he has worked with has played an important role in our dad's life and career at First Community Church. We have been fortunate our dad has worked with people who are more than colleagues and are dear friends to our dad and family. And like our family, you know that our dad is not perfect, but also perfect in so many ways. Honestly, I never thought I would get married because I couldn't imagine a man out there who would treat me as well or be as perfect as my dad. But I did find that man in Jason who has been supportive of my dad as a minister and of the church. However, when the time came to get married, I just wanted my dad to walk me down the aisle. As proud of him as I am of him as a minister, I'm prouder he is my dad. And just like my dad, First Community Church has been a big part of my life. Um, and through all my time here, there has been one constant refrain. You're Jim Long's son? What a great guy. <laughs> and I always said, well, you must not know him very well. Um, but really, as a kid, it was always weird having people I didn't know come up and say that to me. And I never really knew how to respond. Um, you know, it's kind of thanks, I guess. <laughs> but but uh, uh, as I've gotten older and grown up to realize how many lives he has touched and seen how much good he has done, I could not be more proud to be known as Jim Long's son. In closing, we could not be prouder of our dad. Many know our dad, my mom's mother, Jimmy, Jason, and I all graduated from Ohio Wesleyan University. 
a phrase that is often repeated at OBU's baccalaureate ceremony each year to students receiving awards is, we love you, we honor you, we thank God for you. And we now often use this jokingly to say goodbye to each other. <laughs> um, but as Elizabeth and I thought about uh, what to say to sum up how we feel about our dad, those words really seem to say it all. Dad, dad we, we love, love you, we, we honor, honor you, you. we, we thank, thank God for you. <laughs> thank you.